So the GoPro supposedly, it works pretty damn well underwater like that. But a flimsy door avoiding catastrophe, I get a little bit nervous. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today, with the help of the real-life mermaid Mathilde and Leonore, we're gonna check out the difference between a dome and a waterproof case. Usually we buy a waterproof case, this plasticky thing that comes with a bunch of plastic accessories that we never use. And when you search something like that, a bunch of uh, ads that show up, Instagram, YouTube, something like this, a dome, okay? If you open it, it has a protection bag. It's well protected with a plastic and it has two grips. So you can film like that. And you have the power button over here. Change these settings and shutter release. But this thing costs 30 bucks. This kit is 30 bucks. Only this, it's 30 bucks. So we're gonna see the difference. We're gonna do some tests. Let's go on the water. Let's go. Let's cue the 30 seconds montage but with the wrong music because YouTube it's a little bit stupid. If you want to see the montage with the correct music, check it out on Instagram. In this review, let's start with the most obvious. Both systems can float. The water case proof needs the handle like that. This is to float and it's yellow to be actually visible, okay? Well, me and the girls were attracted to the dome. So we, we use it way more often. Not only because it's way much funnier to use, but also I think because of the feedback on the buttons. This is like a smush button you never know if you are really taking a picture unless you're really looking at the back of the screen here but we noticed that it's pretty damn hard to check the image on the back outdoors both on the dome and on the waterproof case so one thing that annoys me now a lot that i check out the images is the water drops on the dome now don't get me wrong the waterproof case also have this problem but it has way less surface area to try to clean and the technique of diving the dome and retrieving up to get rid of the water drops doesn't work that well it comes back so if you have any suggestions how to get rid of this that is not toxic for the underwater wildlife please leave it down below in the comments because it's too bad and with the image stabilization on it gets even worse the waterproof case well, you can clean it way easily with the t-shirt. Just be careful to not scratch the front element or just leak it as some YouTubers suggest uh, to get rid of the water drops. But if there is some drops, it's way bigger on the image and way visible. So it can get very distracting or even ruin the image. If a big drop is directly on the face of someone, well, the image is unusable. So I'm going to focus here on more on the dome and just to say that it has a really cool transition from underwater to the surface. Another thing is this for photos is excellent. So good in fact that we replaced our photo shoot project that was supposed to do with my big camera with the GoPro because it was so easy and so cool to do. And as a GoPro can photograph in RAW. Well, I didn't lose that much and very grippy. The two handles really help a lot. Now, there is a small problem, uh, let's call improvements that I like to see on another dome. The ones that want a dome gonna want to do some Instagram content and vertically is the way to go. So it would be nice to have a vertical waterline. Uh, when we tried to photograph vertically, we had no idea uh, of the level of the water. Also, would be great to see the level of the water in the front. Another problem also with the dome is, is that sometimes I see the reflection of the GoPro lens on the dome itself. Now, there is no really good solution to resolve this. You just have to live with it. 
and I see some dome selling on the internet with a selfie screen exposed. It's even a bigger thing to reflect on the dome itself. It's really, really, I, I don't advise it at all. So let's give the waterproof case some chance to fight now. Because it has the GoPro connection under it, you can attach this to a tripod, hold it like that. This one only has the dome and there is no way to connect with anything. Also, it comes with a bunch of accessories. Those accessories can be useful uh, if you do some bike, some other adventures, and you really want to protect your GoPro, this waterproof case will help you a lot. So what about the sound? Let's be honest, these things are waterproof priority. The sound isn't really a big priority and you can hear that. Now, the waterproof case has a really big problem. Literally five seconds in the screen and the lens as well is starting to fog. That's not good. The condensation. The dome never had that problem and the waterproof case, even with the sticks that it comes with, it doesn't work. The condensation takes over the image, takes over the screen. I think that the extra air inside of the dome avoid this problem completely. Drop a like if you learned something, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel, Meltid, Leonor, see ya! <laughs>